disgrace. Don't carry it to the grave. Because what if the person you looked up to was you? Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a few different things. Uh, for one, me not pushing myself hard enough. Two, not practicing enough and three getting in my own way we're gonna be taking a ride to go deliver some footage for a friend of mine well he's kind of like a friend he helped me start getting into shooting weddings he's been shooting weddings for probably i don't know 15 20 years something like that and he kind of took me underneath his wing and it's just something that i've been trying to do on the weekends to better myself but like i was saying earlier i need to get out and start shooting more footage even like when i get off of work and just going out and shooting footage like just get something in my mind i'm stuck in this thought that the only time that i need to get out and shoot footage is when i'm trying to make a video and i think that has put me in a position to where the only time i'm practicing is i'm making a video and then that makes my videos not that good and then that puts me in a position like i was saying where i make 10 to 15 videos and feel like they're not good enough so I don't put them out there. So today, I'm going to upload this video no matter how good it is or how bad it is, but I've gotta start believing in myself and stop getting in my own way. That's kind of what I wanna talk about today, getting in your own way. And also, big thing, have y'all seen Chris Howe's Creator Anthem? If you are a creator in any sort of kind of way, any type of artist, you've got to see that. The thing was so emotional for me, and it just reminded me that I, you know, I let this noise of this world get in my own way, and, you know, the noise of life happening and kids and, and having to work and things like that, and not being where I want to be already. And not, you know, you got to understand that these things take time, and you got to put in the work, and I haven't been putting in the work like I should. So, yeah, check out that video if you haven't checked out that video, and uh, let's go deliver this footage. what is up we're about to pull in where i'm meeting this guy at for this footage so like i was saying i've shot about five different weddings with this guy he's a wonderful awesome guy he you know he's real smart when it comes to weddings and things like that his style is a little bit different than what i want to do with my future weddings if that's the way that i decide to truly go like i like shooting weddings but as far as some of it just i don't like like i don't want to deliver an hour and a half long video that's just not my thing like i i like the you know three minutes to six minute video to kind of bring your memories back bring them feelings you know remind you of those feelings that you felt that day and go on about sharing little other parts of you know your wedding and things like that but that that's about it the hour and a half video i'm not up for that and that's kind of how this guy delivers his stuff but you know everybody's got their own way of doing things and that's cool but back to me and, you know, struggling with my creativity. Here lately, it's just been one thing after another when it comes to work and not having work and then, you know, starting my own company and what direction I really want to go with that. And to be honest, you know, I understand that I got to do something to make money until I really start making money with this camera. But, you know, we all want to rush everything and I'm just ready to be doing YouTube full time. and. I know that's coming from somebody that's got 91 subscribers and you know not a real big youtube following or any other social media big following but you know it's all it all comes when it's supposed to come you know what i mean but i've been letting it just everything get in my way and that's what this vlog is about for me to step out of my you know non-creative mind here lately like i've got to start creating more now i have two videos on the way uh, they may already be posted by the time I upload this vlog, but uh, one of them is about the Sony a7 IV and the FX3 and the higher up cameras and getting the firmware update to get some of the specs that the Sony a7 IV has. Because me, I think that we should get some of those specs. Hold on, the lights turn. Okay, guys, what's up? So, delivered the footage. That was good. Uh, we got a couple more weddings coming up, so that's good news. But, uh... 
you know, you know what I, I, I'm thinking of right now is that making this vlog right now and not having the pressure of trying to talk about a camera or a lens or trying to make some type of review, I noticed that I'm more relaxed and I can talk to you guys. But when I go to make a review of something, I start comparing myself to other people, Peter McKinnon, Chris Howe, you know, uh, uh, Joshua from Make Art Now, Gerald Undone. You know, those are just some of my favorite people that I love to watch. And I think that I compare myself to them people or it's in the back of my mind when I'm trying to make these reviews and I stutter. I have to make the video five, six times, you know, and I'm sure you guys or other people that are trying to do the same thing go through some of the same stuff. And it's just it's just how it is. And I notice with more practice and not just with more practice, but more practice on top of more practice. And what I mean by that is like continuously doing camera work and working with camera and being on the camera. The more I do it and stay on it, the better I become. Does that make sense? If I have a creative rut like I've had over the last two months, it becomes hard for me to talk to the camera, kind of like I went to stutter right there. And not even that, like in my last video or one of my last videos, it got a thousand views. But I feel like it was one of my worst videos that I've ever done as far as when it comes to my personality and me coming out and, you know, being myself on camera. Anyway, let's talk some more when I get to the next stop. What's up, guys? So, yeah, just I got to practice more. And if you're trying to do the same thing, then, you know, we all need to practice more. I'm here at Walgreens picking up my daughter's medicine, so I probably should put the camera down. But, you know, practice, 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 right? Anyway, so how many of you have seen that Chris Howe video, the creator's content? Uh, what is it called? The creator's anthem. I said something about it earlier and I'm gonna talk about it again. Man, I love that video and the message that it tries to bring across and how he delivered it, the videography in it, uh, or should I say cinematography uh, and shooting with that new Ronin 4D, you know, that camera's awesome all in itself, but the way he put that together and just, you know, how it touched me, like, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I shed a tear because creating and, ha and doing YouTube is something that I want to do so bad, like I'm so hungry for it. And I've watched other Let's see, I've watched other people talk about the burnout or losing their creativity or really, you know, the burnout. Like, or, or people that start YouTube and quit because they're not making it. And never once have I had that thought. I know my channel is growing slowly and I'm grateful for that. So all you 91 subscribers, if you see this, I'm grateful. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm sure a lot of you are my family and things like that, and my friends, and, and I'm grateful. What was I saying? I wanna, I've never had that thought of quitting. I may have slacked off and not been working as hard because of life stuff, job and family and things like that I was talking about earlier, but I've never had that thought of quitting. And I think that makes me realize that I'm so passionate about this that come hell or high water, I'm going to make this my dream job. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to make it where I'm getting paid to do this, working with brands, you know, the whole mix, traveling and stuff like that. Like, I, And it's not for the fame, but ever since I picked up a camera, it has helped change me. It has given me a different perspective on life and made me want so much more out of life. Does that make sense? Anyway, I got to pull up, picking up my daughter's medicine, but so with all that said, just know that I'm not quitting. No matter how hard it gets, I'm not quitting. <laughs> Okay.
guys so i'm here at a different place this is called the white house hotel it is a hotel down on downtown not downtown biloxi but it's down on the water in biloxi if that makes sense on highway 90. biloxi mississippi like i said i'm from mississippi if i haven't said that in this video now you know anyway i think my camera's about to fall i'm here to meet my wife to give her uh some stuff for her overnight stay they're having a gathering here for her tonight uh through her work and stuff but anyway back to the video guys uh i wanted to make this vlog for one like i said to get out and practice more uh secondly to get out of the creative rut that i was in so i've been getting some nice b-roll of the beach and things like that but to also talk about chris howe's new video their creator anthem and how amazing i thought that was like i was talking about and just to get myself vlogging again talking to the camera getting used to it like i said practice 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 makes perfect and like i said you know in this vlog i feel like i'm outgoing and some of my personality is coming out and you guys are seeing that and i think that is awesome i hope you guys do too yeah i just wanted to do this vlog to, to practice so i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna cut it off here but yeah that's pretty much it for me guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh if you did hit that like button it really, really does help us YouTubers, us TikTokers, all, everybody. If you hit that like button, it lets YouTube know that you like my video and possibly other people would like my video too. So hit that like button, punch it, jump on it, kick it, whatever you do to make it turn blue, do that for me. And also hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so you can see my upcoming videos. Guys, I appreciate it. Be safe out there, peace. Ooh. <laughs>